we are Jonty and Millie, and along with our kids, we look for the amazing wonders of our world, living in Singapore and exploring beyond. Welcome to Wonderlust. We're at the Rifle Range Nature Park. It is the newest and latest nature park that has been opened by N Parks here in Singapore. And we are obsessed with N Parks in Singapore. We love we them. Are. We are. They're great. We love all the park connectors that take us to the N Parks. We love exploring all of the N Parks. We do have a um, playlist of all of our um, N Parks. And one of my favorites is Bishan Amokyo. That's going through huge changes at the moment. So I'm looking forward to that. And it looks like this is going to have some extra things. We can see opposite there's like a closed off bit where there, mm. there's going to be more walkways so more pathways um, to explore and we're kind of at I'm not sure which entrance this is but we were at one of them we took a bus somewhere nearby and then we walked around to this bit which is great and they're still building some path right now actually which is mm. really really nice to see um, and then we're just gonna potter through and explore and see what we can find so come join us it looks to me like we are on the wrong side of the path. I think we're here, right? So I think we have to come up, take this brown pathway through, and then we can hit this loop where they've got the, the blue path, which is good for people in wheelchairs and mobility needs. Buggies. We can go all around here, and then we need to cross the bridge into the main Rifle Range Nature Park. So let's go. As we said, we took the bus to get here. We actually had to take two buses. It's a little bit tricky to get here, but there's this brilliant taxi stand uh, drop-off spot over here, which is really, really nice. There's fans, it feels really airy, and, um, and a tennis umpires thing. So obviously they've got some, some matches going on down here as well, which is pretty cool. There's some information here about what this used to be. It actually used to be a quarry, but it's since been filled in um, and it's now a uh, freshwater area and there's a walkout that you can go and see how that used to be as well. So I'm going to read a little bit more information about what this site used to be. So behind me here you can see how it used to look like with loads and loads of lush green and then it was changed into a quarry and I love the, the kind of, I guess, the beauty that it's now come full circle and it's now been filled in and it's been returned back to nature. There's this lovely area here which I think, just judging by that middle portion there, I think water's going to come through there and pour out the sides and I can just imagine that looking beautiful and then pouring into these little sections here. Um, so I'm looking forward to that being done. I don't know whether it's waiting for some sort of motor to go or whether it's going to happen when it rains a lot. I'm not entirely certain but I think it's going to be beautiful and um, this little wetlands area. Um, there are washrooms here where the kids and Millie have gone now. Um, the whole place just feels amazing. It feels really, really um, fresh and new, but also very green and exciting. So um, this is the main, I guess, the main welcome area to the Rifle Range uh, Nature Park. And so um, this is where you would come uh, if you had to, like we said earlier, if you had to take a taxi, um, which is which is awesome. What a lovely, lovely place. What a great start to um, this walk. Place that I think I'm already thinking about who I can bring along. Um, hopefully they can enjoy it. Don't know if you're the same, but some of my uh, friends who served NS, they tend to be the ones who don't like the idea of going on a nature walk. I think there's a lot of trauma involved. <laughs> um, and so, um, I would love to get them out here and just to explore how beautiful this really is and hopefully they will enjoy it in the way that we do too. <laughs> Aha, it is going to be a stream. Oh look, over here. There we go, it's going to look like this. That's nice. Oh, loads of the little squirrels dotted around absolutely everywhere, like they're just running and jumping around. So we're just walking up and uh, the visitor center, I guess you'd call it, where they've got like, the toilets, there is a vending machine as well. So if you've forgotten your drink, um, you can pick something up there while you sit under the fans. But the top of it, which I'm guessing is powering the fans and everything, are solar panels. Um, the, lots of Singapore is trying to be a lot more eco-friendly. So that's a great, great way to use the energy to power the whole building. So 
So with this being called the Rifle Range uh, Nature Park, the name obviously comes from it being an old rifle range. And um, back in the day they used to have these big uh, concrete walls essentially up that would stop any stray bullets from hurting anybody or being dangerous. And they've um, cre recreated them basically with these concrete planters behind me, um, but they've made them uh, I look exactly like them. It's really cool because it's just kind of kept that whole uh, the history of the site uh, in the forefront of, of, of what's here which is really really beautiful. This particular walk is the gliders boardwalk. Um, it says it's accessible for wheelchairs and buggies, which is nice that you can come and enjoy this with the whole family. The boardwalk is beautifully made, really nice with all wood around it. And then um, it's really dense around here. Um, I would love to see some of the gliders. They're obviously hiding, um, hiding now, fast asleep. Uh, but it's nice to know that they're around here somewhere. There's a little animal crossing bridge here that's going over the entrance in the way to a little um, exploration area, a little play area I guess that's all been naturally made so the kids are going to go and check that out. in the rocks. Can you see them? It's everywhere. Yeah. So they've got these, there's these big climbing rocks um, as well behind and the floor is all covered in stones. I guess another nod to the quarry that used to be here. Here is a um, underground road crossing. We talked about the ones above for the monkeys and then under lots of the roads apparently there's these tunnels so that animals can cross from one side to the other and I guess especially when areas that have been really really uh, forested and green and then you kind of remove that, the animals still would want to go to that place. So it's great that they've kind of designed a little safe crossing uh, for the animals to go above. I know at the zoo, there's a really huge one, um, the animal highway or something, and they've got cameras up there and you can actually look at the cameras and see which animals are using those particular crossings. Um, over here, it looks like you put stones in this conveyor over here. It goes around and then that thing, you need a toilet up and it goes through more conveyors and then it comes out from here. Whenever I uh, see this, do not stray off the trail sign. It just makes me go, but why? What's in there? I don't know, you have to be careful over here because of uh, snakes and stuff, but a little bit of me is like, but I want to know. I want to see what's behind this little trail that I'm not allowed to go in. It's going everywhere. Here, yeah, because it has dents. Give the kid like an E-Rock and he'll try to find it. Yeah. We've walked a bit more along the boardwalk, following it along. Um, nice and wide boardwalk because it's quite busy today, but there's there's enough space for everybody, which is nice. And this now has was filled in from when it was a quarry. It took two years to fill in and now it's been filled with rainwater and uh, it's got its own thriving ecosystem here. What have you guys been up to? <laughs> so you're faced with two options. Here you can do the moderate route which is 50 meters or the challenging route which is 30 meters. Our kids of course have chosen the challenging route, climbing up and over uh, some of the big rocks here again for it being the quarry which is pretty cool. So we're going to head up here and we're heading to an awesome looking lookout tower. That route wasn't really challenging but I think a lot of stairs would have been because the other direction is stairs. <laughs> yeah. The moderate route was stairs which in my opinion, with my slightly dodgy knees, uh, that would have been worse. 50 kilometres of stairs versus 30 kilometres uh, of a little bit of rocks. Um, much easier. Uh, but now we're walking along another lovely pathway. Um, completely surrounded, it's really dense. You can, at this one, 
This nature park, still hear noises, we can hear some building work next door. It sounds like a train. I'm like, ch -ch -ch -ch, but I think it's like drilling, um, drilling or something. But uh, I can tell we're getting higher up and it's quite misty actually, because I'm looking out um, and some of the higher buildings are covered with cloud. You don't necessarily notice the elevation gain as you're walking, but uh, all of a sudden there's a bit of a view over the city. You can see that we're over, well, over the neighbourhoods, I guess, rather than the city. But you can see that we're quite high and then uh, there's some buildings in the distance, which is kind of nice too. Good view. <laughs> And she just took my knee out, hence that ooh, wobble in my nice transition. Enjoying this park? It's nice. I think when the building work stopped, it'll be a bit better. I think that's the only thing I'd say. Like, for example, Thompson Nature Park, or even in McRi or McRitchie's. Oh, Thompson Nature Park, <laughs> but even McRitchie's massive, so it yeah. doesn't really count. But for the smaller ones, with Thompson, you can't hear, or Windsor Park even, mm. you can't hear traffic anywhere near you. You're just, um, you're just out in the nature. That said, I know there's still a bit of traffic in the background, Not but the building work has stopped. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably the only thing, but the pathways are amazing. Um, the route is really good. It is like everywhere in the bits, in the nature parts of Singapore, it is like thick vegetation, so you can't see um, hmm. anything around you other than rainforest which is amazing so yeah very much Bugs. enjoying it. I like the ups and the downs there's a lot of that sort of stuff not just in the way that Millie's holding the camera for you guys so. <laughs> I'm being bitten on my shoulder okay. I can feel it and we are going up and down so I'm trying to hold this and look where we're going um, okay. we're nearly at the Kalugu deck so oh I think it's just up these steps didn't escape the stairs after all So a few moments ago we were down there and now we're up here it looks from down below it looks like the front of a boat um, up here it still looks like the front of a boat <laughs> it does say maximum 20 people uh, it does wobble a little bit um, when you stand on it but uh, it's nice to be up in the trees wibbling it but um, it's nice to be up here and to be able to look down again I can see some more solar panels um, on the top of one of the little uh, shelters where the maps are yeah really nice up here it's nice to be high loads of birds flying up ahead um, and just have that open view what else is nice being up high um, is spotting some wildlife we spotted a kingfisher um, and it flew under the uh, structure that we stood on so we rushed to the other side and then it flew back under so we rushed back then we couldn't find it um, Aspen managers managed to see it um, and then another family kind of pointed out but it's bright blue wings you could just spot flying above the water so it's nice just to like take some time and, and see what you can see around here I always love these signs that they have right in parks to tell you stuff and um, so now I can correct myself and say that the the design of this wasn't on a boat um, but it's on one of the uh, one of the gliders so the head and then when it stretches out its hands and feet that it looks like um, the wings so that's kind of like a star shape I guess um, which is what is inspired the shape of the deck soaring through the sky you're not tired when you go up but then when you go down you're really tired <laughs> continues on and you can go all the way to McRitchie Reservoir that's about 2.2k from here uh, we don't want to do that today um, we love McRitchie we've done it before but we just wanted to explore this area today so we are making our way back and we're just going to see if there's any other little trails um, and bits that we haven't seen uh, before we make our way back um, to the entrance pavilion really nice walk about <laughs> Tell me what you like about it. I like this nature park because it's, it's nature. Quiet. It's mm -hmm. quiet nature. Yeah. 
Nice. And we got sticks. You do have a stick. You can't go anywhere without a stick. Are you statues, are you? Are you? Can you just confirm, are you a statue? Oh no! <laughs> Having made it to the top, we are making our way back down. Um, we're going to see if we can find a slightly different route back. We don't really mind. This is one of the things we find is an advantage of not driving in Singapore, is that we can finish up wherever we want and make our own way home instead of having to go back to the car park, which, um, which is good. So we're going to see if we can find a different route back. I'm starting to get a bit hungry despite a late start and a late breakfast and um, we'll see what we can we can find in a little while. Just behind me is a beautifully crafted uh, little hide. Um, the way that it's been put together is is really really lovely and um, some really really great um, windows to be able to look out of we can call them windows and um, so we didn't see much nature that we would have seen otherwise but I guess it's still new so they're still waiting for everything to come and mm. populate it the way that it will in the months to come so looking forward to returning and seeing what we can find yeah you can hear some pretty cool bird sounds around even though you can't spot them you can, you can hear different calls around um, which is nice probably just takes a little bit more patience than we've got today mainly because we've got the kids <laughs> but it's always fun with them there's a different um a different experience with little ones to be honest <laughs> Something really, really important to note if you've got kids. Milo just went to go and put his trash in the in the trash can as you do. There's a little bit here where you're supposed to step on the foot pedal, but then this bit came out and knocked him in the face. So please be careful of that. Maybe end park some signs would be really, really good just to help any kids. Let's have a look. Show me. There's quite a bump on that head. Tell me how it happened, I'm going to tell anyone. Trash can bin, I'm just swung forward when I hit it and it just bashed my head. Oh, sweetheart. I feel like the lump has already come up. So, luckily, Milo's head lump has gone down. We put uh, a cold drink on it. Um, bless him. Uh, so, yeah. Aspen got her head strike. Aspen bumped her head yesterday. She jumped up in like a. Uh, it was the old monorail like an old monorail and she jumped up on it and she so she's got a bruise on her forehead and now he's got a lump on his head and probably Matchy, a bruise matchy. as well yeah we call Talk them little eggheads <laughs> so what's great is, uh, as you can hear <laughs> it's all right uh, as you can hear there's like oh you can't tell it stopped but there was all this uh like compressed air shooting dirt out of people's shoes and some shoe brushes to be able to clean them which we thought was very very typically singaporean to make sure you get out every little crumb of dust out of your footwear. But it makes sense because the it's public great. transport is so nice and clean and yeah. if you're going in someone else's taxi it just it's one of those things yeah. you know there's that thing on Instagram it's like it only makes sense here and that yeah, makes perfect true. sense in Singapore that you would have that. But Very true. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to take a wander now uh, another kilometre I think over towards Beauty World we're going to grab some lunch and we're going to make our way home but it's been a really really great experience of the rifle range end park we've yeah. loved it. I think this is going to be a nice addition if you want to continue walking or you're coming from somewhere else that this will just give a nice extra bit so that you can make an even longer walk um, through nature here in Singapore. I think I said it earlier as well that I'm definitely going to be bringing lots of people along because it's just a really really beautiful place to come and experience the nature that you can have here in, in, in Singapore so we love it. We do. So do come and explore. Um, lots of people about today enjoying it uh, because it's, it's, it's new but it's great and I think it will be somewhere that we'll keep coming back to. Um, yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.